how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of a brand new IPO, Luck, Luckbox, symbol on the TSX Venture Exchange, L-U-C-K, here with the CEO, Quinton Martin. How are you doing today, Quinton? Hi, Rich. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, very well, thank you. Very well. Very good. Now, our entire community is very excited about this new IPO and this new opportunity and this company. Why don't we get started and you can tell us a little bit about Luckbox. And I know it's a fully licensed esports betting platform operating in over 80 countries and territories, sorry, 80 territories. Can you give us a brief overview of the company? Sure. Um, you did a pretty good synopsis there. Uh, we've been up and running for about two years. We're headquartered on the Isle of Man, which is where our gambling license is from. That's between the UK and Ireland. Um, we are formed in you know, myself. Uh, I was an ex uh, Poker Stars employee for about 10 years, running up the free to play gaming studio at the end, a uh, professional gamer in my early life. And we've kind of fused the entire company is made up of ex gamers, diehard esports enthusiasts, but also absolute pedigree from the gambling space. Um, we, our entire brand and focus is to acquire and monetize traffic through betting on esports tournaments, with, with esports being professional computer game tournaments. Um, and uh, things are going pretty well so far. Very good. Now, our entire community is very excited. You guys launched yesterday. Stock went up huge. And a lot of members now are starting to pick it up and position themselves. What sets you apart from other esports betting providers? Sure thing. So I touched on a bit about it there with regards to the team. Uh, gambling is one of the most regulated industries on the planet and uh, having a team that can really, really understand and have pedigree. You know, I worked on 26 different gambling licenses in my, in, in my past life and we've, we've got a management team that just replicates that set, set of experience. Uh, secondly, it's the breadth of offering. Esports is quite nascent as an industry and data is fragmented. So uh, in order to provide odds on as many matches as possible, you need to work with tournament organizers and publishers around the world on maybe 20 different titles. As a result of that, most of our competitors only offer about 50% match coverage, meaning you can bet on maybe one in two things. Whereas we have as close to 100% as anyone in the space on mobile and desktop with the ability to live to stream so you can watch, chat and bet in real time on our platform. Um, and finally, uh, we're on a, a pedigree gambling license, which, which sets us apart from some of uh, from quite a lot of the competition. I think there's only maybe five of us around the world that are on a good license. Wow, it's impressive. Can you tell us a bit more, you mentioned it, about the significance of your Isle of Man gaming license? Sure. So this confers a barrier to entry and a, and a competitive advantage. Um, there are there are three types of licenses in the world. You've got the cowboy licenses. A great example of this would be Curacao out of the Dutch Antilles in the Caribbean. Uh, this license takes maybe two to three weeks to get $25,000, and it's not really worth the paper it's printed on um, because most banks won't work with you, payment processes won't work with you because you just you, there's no proof that you're not you know, money laundering or financing terrorism. Um, whereas the pedigree uh, licenses on the other end of the spectrum, uh, Malta or the Isle of Man being the best with regards to an offshore license, um, they, have, they, they take one to three years to get your tech stack fully compliant. Um, they cost maybe $70,000 a year uh, to, to get up and running. Um, and because of the strict compliance requirements to, to know your customer, to prevent money laundering, to combat the financing of terrorism, uh, player safety uh, and enhancement, as a result of all those things, we have two to four times more payment processes than somebody else in a Curacao license. And that's exactly how customers get money to us as a purely online digital business. And more banks will work with us around the world. Um, we have better player protections and that's super important. As, you know, our kind of vision is esports betting done right. We really want to make sure that everyone is safe, that both their funds and how they gamble are on our platform. Um, and it helps you scale so you can move to other licenses around the world more easily because you've already gone through much of that uh, background check. And finally, um, uh, one of our likeliest exit strategies in the space is a trade sale. Now, uh, we're talking to gambling giants around the world who operate on 20 plus gambling licenses because they're so compliant, their regulatory, com their compliance committees can only really acquire companies that are of a similar uh, degree of pedigree. So we're really well positioned as a result, like, well, as I said, only one of about five companies in the, in, globally uh, in a similar position. Wow. Now, what has been happening in the esports betting space this year? Obviously, it's been a crazy year due to COVID-19. And you would assume that people are at home playing games, betting more than ever. So 
what's happened this year and what is the market opportunity for Luckbox? Sure. So esports betting was already hot. It's already been growing for about 44% year on year for the last wow. several several years. Yeah, it's a fantastic growth industry. And I mean, esports itself is growing about 20%. Um, esports betting makes up, uh, you know, is the single largest revenue stream within, within esports. Now, then obviously the pandemic and COVID hit, and we've been utterly blessed to be in an industry that's not only heavily resistant, but the esports betting side of it has shown you know, incredible growth. As you say, everyone in lockdown, playing games again, watching all of traditional sports was cancelled for the first half of the year, um, whereas most esports tournaments successfully transitioned online. Um, so, you know, absolutely massive growth at the start of the year, and, and, and that's mainly been retained. So for us at, at Lovebox, we saw a 500% growth in, in, in the volume of our bets um, at the beginning of lockdown, and we've retained about 75% of that. Um, despite the return of traditional sports and, and the world coming slightly back to normal. Um, so it's been an incredible year for the esports betting. Now, Luckbox has reached some big milestones this year. Can you tell us about some of the biggest wins to date? Sure. So, so I just hinted at one year, we had a, a massive increase in, in, in our, all of our key performance indicators due to lockdown. Um, we successfully raised uh, six million over the summer. Um, meaning that as we you know we just started trading yesterday, um, but we're we're fairly cash rich and in no rush to uh, to raise again. We're really just going kind to of, um, looking for good deal flow and 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 potentially to inject more into our into our user acquisition over the coming months. Um, this year, we we've, we've seen ourselves um, integrate one of the largest uh, affiliate platforms in in the gambling in space. So that really helps on the user acquisition side. Um, we've localized in in. We're now in six different languages, so English, French, German, Spanish. I'm going to, I'm going to forget one. Uh, Matt, Chinese, and Portuguese. Um, yeah, there we go. I almost, almost forgot the last one. We also added additional uh, payment providers, uh, such as accepted cryptocurrencies from our players, and an additional title. So, for example, when lockdown happened, um, we launched uh, FIFA and NBA 2K, and we saw a huge uptick in that of some of maybe potentially those traditional sports bettors who didn't have anything to bet on now going, oh, hey, I resonate with that. That makes sense to me. And last week, <clears throat> we soft launched our uh, traditional sports. Um, so I don't really want to shout too much about that, but that's going to be a big feature for us and um, revenue generator going into 2021. Now, our community loves tightly held companies. You guys only have 50 million shares. Very nice tight flow. We love that. So that's really appealing to us. And you guys have a very small market cap. I believe it's like 39 million market cap. So in my opinion, lots of room to grow. I believe this is an undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed story. Like you mentioned, you got money in the bank, tight flow, small market cap. In my opinion, these are the types of companies that have room to grow. Now, what should investors look out for from Luckbox in the coming months? Sure. I just want to add that, by the way, but we about 50% of our stock is insiders and that's all wow. locked up from 15 to 36 months. So just Great. It's, a, it's a way tighter structure than most that I've seen. Yes. Um, so, so over the next six months, I'm, our core focus is, is growth and scale of our existing business. So that involves us hiring. So we're scaling up. I'm looking for a chief um, customer officer as well as uh, marketing leads. Um, we're looking to grow the company you know, anywhere between 25 and 50% over the next six months. And then to invest in user acquisition, uh, really to scale up from where we, where we are, which is essentially kind of early in our revenue days, um, to looking to spend a couple of million over, over the next few months, um, and really just accelerate our growth and establish ourselves as one of the leading global brands within esports betting. Quentin, our investors are all over the world in well over 90 countries. If they wanted to get in contact with you, what's the best way for them to reach out to you? Sure. Uh, I'd email investment at luckbox.com. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us here today. For those of you guys that are watching, remember Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence, always do your research and consult a financial advisor before you invest in anything that we discuss in our show. If you enjoyed this show, please smash the like button, subscribe and comment down below, share the video everywhere. I, I do like this. Our entire, our entire community is talking about it right now. And I believe that this is going to be a big winner for our community. That's my opinion. And hopefully in the future, we can do more of these, uh, Quentin, where anytime you have big news or breaking news, or even if we did a Q&A in the future, love to invite you back onto our show. It'll be my pleasure. Okay. Thank you so much. The CEO of Luckbox, Quentin Martin. 
Thank you so much, Quentin. Have yourself a great day. Thank you. You too, Rich. And for all of you guys that are watching, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.